Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the old family farm. We are in August. I have advanced us ahead a little bit. I got some work done. I will get you caught up to everything that's going on here right now. Nothing too special yet. But did get some work done. Decided I would throw some food at our lovely little sheep. Looks like they are happy with what they've got there. Yep, they're happy. Outstanding. Let's go take a look and see. Uh, check out the wool production here really quick. Oh, they're throwing some wool our way. That's good. We only have 25. So it is what it is. But they are maturing and they are healthy. And I guess that's what matters the most. What's up, ladies? How you doing, little guy? Little girl? Little guy? Sorry, my bad. So here's what we're going to do today. I'll get you caught up on what's going on actually here real quick. So I went ahead and harvested this field of wheat. Last time we were together, we did a harvest on this field right here and collected the straw. I did the same thing for this field. In fact, I may have, let's see, June. We might have been in June now that I'm thinking about it. And I moved ahead to July. That gave us this field of wheat that we could do. That's done. Straw collected and sold. Believe it or not, I haven't bought any new equipment. I know. Shocker. We have this massive little field. Well, massive for Old Family Farm. This field is ready to be harvest. Another field of wheat. We're going to take care of that here in August. We've got a field of sorghum that is growing that's right sorghum not sorghum and we've got our big old field of corn that continues to grow so we need to get this field harvested and then finally i must say it seems like it's been a while we have potatoes to harvest oh yeah exciting so we've got that big potato field this big wheat field well, of course we will collect all the wheat our straw in this field after we're done but we also need to, hello ladies, we also need to do some mulching on this wheat field and that wheat field over yonder. I'm looking at just timing this out a little bit. So we are not going to worry about growing canola or planting canola. I think we're going to wait and do some more uh, wheat and barley. I was looking at oats. Gwen is still bothering me to get horses. Hey, hey, hey. really don't feel like doing the horse thing, if I'm being honest with you, but she's been hounding me to do that. So we might pick up a couple horses. If that's the case, I think we're going to need some oats for their base food. I think they'll be okay on hay, but I think they like oats mostly. We won't be buying them really for anything other than Gwen to go out riding. Not that she doesn't do enough of that without a horse. Bing. It's a bad joke. Sorry. Um, so yeah, we need to get busy, I guess. Enough walking around chatting. So here's what the plan is so far. So for a mulcher, I found this bad mama jamba here. <clears throat> it seems relatively, well, it's not entirely our era, but it's the closest thing I could find that seemed to fit pretty well for what we are uh, doing. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, we could wait till next month. Here's the thing. If we lease it now for two wheat fields, we're going to have... Actually, you know what? No, we'll be okay because we're going to harvest our third wheat field. So I'm just talking myself into and out of things. Let's lease this thing. $100, oh, $459 to lease. Probably an entirely unnecessary but it does give us that little extra, I think it's like 2% for our yield. So we haven't done any mulching. So we're just going to do that. And we're also going to need to lease this bad boy here for our potatoes. Ay, ay, ay. Um, I hope we make enough money back to pay for this stuff. $1,326 to lease. You can pick up your lease. Thank you very much. We need a potato header with it. This also does the topping all at once. So we will lease that for $204. And I think that's all the leased equipment we need 
right now. <laughs> Lovely. Oh boy. Let's see inside. This is actually not a bad mod at all. They did a pretty decent job with this thing. We'll be using this for our um, oh sugar beets as well. How in the heck do we pick this header up? I think we're going to drive on to it this way. If I remember correctly. Yes, okay. So we picked that header up. Do you have a uh, little hitch? Can I hitch? Is it okay if I hitch this thing back with me? We're going to need this thing, so... Oh, it's got... Wait a minute. Does it have... Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought I heard air brakes. I'm like, what? Uh, swing around. Where are you? There you are. You're not going to connect, are you? Oh, you suck. I was really hoping it would connect to that. Not quite sure why it won't. Must be just a different hitch type. Hope everybody's doing well. Oh, my goodness. What a week. It's been so far. It's been a good week. Hopefully it stays that way. Uh, let's start you off somewhere in this vicinity here. Now I have to decide what are we going to do. We're going to have to do some hiring um, as well. <clears throat> I think we're going to work, boy. We're going to have to have a hired helper do this because this thing's going to fill up and we're going to need to truck potatoes. I didn't really think this through. I hope we can store potatoes in our silo over there. That would not be pleasant if we couldn't do that. Let's grab our... Mm, yeah, okay. We'll use our Ford. I think the Mulcher is a 90 horsepower requirement. I think. So we'll probably go ahead and get the Ford on the mulching. We can hire out for the uh, we can hire out for the mulching. And I think that does mulching take care of weeds? I think it does. I'm not sold on this mulching. If I'm being honest with you, I kind of feel like eh, for the lease amount, for the time, effort. Probably not entirely worth it, but like I said, we haven't done any mulching. We're always at 98%. We're always stuck at 98% on the uh, on the bonus, on the yield bonus. And I would kind of like to make a little bit of an effort to see if we can't get that up to 100. All right, let's see. How does this little mulcher work? I think... Do you have to unfold it first? I think you do. Okay. Then I think we disconnect it. Let's go to a little inside jobber here. And I believe you back into it this way. Yeah, okay, very good. Um, yeah, okay, very good. Then what we're going to do is we are going to get course play onto this job. Let's create a job. CP field work, that is the correct field. Thank you very much. Uh, number of headlands. Let's do like, um, let's do like three headlands. Uh, sharp corners, honestly, I don't really care, but I guess we'll go with that. Let's generate. That looks okay. Let's bring this up. Kind of want to see. First waypoint. There's our starter, starting point right there. So let's bring him around. I have no idea what Gwen's doing today. We'll see if we can get Gwen helping us. 
she's not supposed to worry about the shop today, so hopefully she's uh she's gonna be doing some helping here on the farm. That is not Gwen. I really don't know who that is. Wait, that's not Clarabelle. Nope, not Clarabelle. Okay. Alright, awesome. So we will get this mulching done. Looks like it's also just chopping in the weeds as well. Lovely. Then the next thing we're going to need to do is get our... Whoops. Get our John Deere. And wagon. Over to uh, the potato... Harvest. We might be pulling double duty here on this wagon because we're going to have this wagon prepped here and we need to fire up the old uh, Massey. Ooh, that Mass Massey's looking a little dirty. <clears throat> Look a little rough. Ciao, girls. Coming through. But we need the Massey for our wheat field. Can't see where I'm backing up. Mirrors, no mirrors. Guess there's one mirror there that's useless. I changed the um, FOV. I'm getting a little used to it. I think I kind of like it. I'm not entirely sure I do. I changed it from 60 to 70. So a little bit wider field of view. And it doesn't look like it distorts things too bad. I don't know. You all let me know what you think. It's not a huge difference. So maybe it's not even that noticeable. It doesn't look drastically no more noticeable to me. Maybe a little bit in cab, it's a little bit, uh, I just don't like the fisheye look when you get to uh, too big of a field of view, you kind of get a fisheye thing going on. All right, let's grab course play here. Yes, we are going to be taking advantage of course play quite a bit today, I think. And we're gonna do some CP field work there. Um, number of headlands. Let's do three headlands. Let's do, uh, boy, I don't know. There's a couple tree areas we might run into a little bit of an issue with. So we can do, we'll try sharp. We'll just keep an eye on, on its progress. That looks pretty good. Starting point right here. Well, that was convenient. And um, first waypoint. You. Oh, Gwen? Nope, not Gwen. Nope, it's a sunglass dude. Alright, we'll have to keep an eye on that for emptying him out. Not sure how that's all going to work yet. And this thing here. Let's get this thing fired up. This is, I think, one of the busier times I've seen Old Family Farm be. Usually we've only got maybe maybe two fields going at the same time. So what do I need to do here? Do I need to unfold anything? It's not looking like it. I can lower you. I can fire you up. I do not have... Actually, you know what we could do? I know what we can do. Let's let's go ahead just for fun. Let's create a job. We'll do CP field work. Let's see what happens here. Uh, number of headlands. Do we need headlands on this field? We probably don't. Right here might become a bit of an issue, but we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on that. CP field work. Number of headlands. None. Up and down, Z looks good right there. Create a job. Go back. Oh, boy. Um, 
first waypoint. I wonder, I don't know how course plays, oh, course plays, I don't know how it's going to handle this whole thing. We're going to find out, aren't we? Tank top, dude. <coughs> um, it's not moving. Course play may not like this thing. Let's get it on closer. Maybe, maybe if I get it on the field, I don't think that's gonna matter. I don't think course play is gonna like this at all. We might be stuck doing a little bit more work on our own here. I don't think I did anything wrong. Let's drive it onto the field one more time. We'll try one more time. Uh, is it because the pipe is out? Let's put the pipe in. I don't know why I... Did I do that? Okay, let's try this one more time. Let's create a job. Course play. Field up and down. Blah, blah, blah. Generate. Why, 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 why do, do you keep opening, Mr. Pipe? I'm not sure I like that. Pipe in, pipe in. Course play. First waypoint. Now what happened? What's going on? Oh, there it is. Okay. First waypoint. Oh, hello. Insta pipe. Well... I think we can safely say that is a big negatory on the course play. It is definitely not course play friendly. So we're just gonna we're gonna chill and do a little uh, potato harvesting, I guess. I, I I don't know. Boy, I wish I had GPS right now. I mean, it's kind of obvious. I don't know how many rows this does. Can I scooch over? What's it doing? Is that the topper in the front? Maybe if I just kind of stick with right about here somewheres. Somewheres here. We might be okay. It's quiet in cab though, isn't it? It's pretty stinking quiet in the cab. What's going to make this a little more fun for us is going to be how quickly this harvester fills up. Might have to do a little bit of a combination of hired help and personal driving. I like using course play because I like being able to pay my my helper's wages myself but with hired help there might be a mod out there actually that turns off hired help wages is there a mod out there that can do that I don't think you can do that in game can you I don't think you can Auto save, time scale, seasonal growth, days, snow. Stop and go. Rust, you can turn all of this off. Manure, slurry, fertilizer. I don't think you can turn off higher general settings. You all are probably yelling at me right now going, no, Brad, you can't turn off hired helper wages. Just go back to business. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't, but at the same time, does additional settings let me do that? Vehicle, player camera smoothness, trailer, depth of field, camera collision adjustment, blah, blah, blah. Yep, I'm not seeing anything that's going to let me turn off hired helper wages. Would kind of like to be able to do that. Am I going to miss that row altogether? 
Ooh, this thing kind of fudges. Yeah, I thought it might a little bit. It kind of takes care of a little bit more than maybe it should, but oh well. Good deal with that. Let's go inside. I think if I stay somewhere in somewheres in this vicinity here, just have to watch our. It would be really nice to be able to get two rows done without having to um, empty. I think our yield bonus... Oh, I am missing a little bit there, though. I think our yield bonus on this field was 98%, I think, for the most part. I do like this. Uh, if I'm going to do potatoes, yeah. This isn't so bad, actually. It's got a decent working speed. It does the topping. I don't have to deal with that separately. Boy, this thing's got some get up and go to it, too. Now, as far as potatoes go, I honestly have no idea what... I guess we're just going to take them to market. I don't think we need them for anything. We're not going to do pigs. So I don't think we need to worry about saving potatoes for any kind of feed or anything. And we don't really have any productions on this map. I like the dust particles on it. That looks pretty good. We don't really have any productions on this map. I mean, we could consider maybe doing some kind of potato production? I don't know if it's really worth it. Making some french fries might be kind of tasty. Let's unload. We do have... Uh, is that not close enough? We do have that other trailer. What's going on here, peeps? Is it not going to unload into this trailer? Please tell me it'll unload into this trailer. Oh, maybe... Yeah, okay. Because Courseplay did the uh, Insto pipe. It didn't really know the pipe was already out. I think what we're... <laughs> I think what we're going to have to do is unload the, this harvester, run over to the silo, unload our potatoes. What, uh, when do potatoes sell? Okay. That's a, man, that's, that's a decent amount of potatoes. Interesting. So I think we're going to have to just do kind of a swap between unloading potatoes, going on load our, our Massey wheat harvest, and then uh, come back and unload this and just kind of stay busy that way. I wonder if... Uh, I want to try one more thing. I know that you guys are going to be frustrated with me on this. But I do want to... I'm curious about one more thing. If I if I pipe out... Instead of course play doing it... Will it work any better? Uh, first waypoint. Let's just do that. Course play is going to pipe in. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, oh, I thought for sure it was so close. Come on, course boy, just stink and drive for goodness sakes. I see it lowering. That kind of tells me probably what's going on with it is the mod author doesn't have this thing designated 
as the right kind of tool or the right kind of um, you know what I'm saying vehicle or whatever harvester or it's because it's got that separate thing that it has to attach on the bottom I think course play is a tad confused much like me will hired help work oh thank god for that <clears throat> all right let's go over how you, whoa 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 what what uh what's going on here it's just in a circle that's literally all it's done is that for real You would think Gwen is driving this bad boy. Something has horribly gone wrong here. I am not having an amazing amount of luck, am I? I don't know why it got stuck on a... Maybe it's the sharp corners. Let's stop this for a sec. Let's create a new course. I'm wondering if it's the sharp corners that is frustrating. We're going to do smooth corners. Uh, no headlands. Uh, we could just do... Well, no, we'll do one headland with smooth corners. And we'll start at the first waypoint. Let's see if it likes the smooth corners a little bit better. It might be struggling with this tool a little bit. Yeah, let's give that a try. What's going on with you? You're just full. Okay. I can respect that. All right, JD, let's get our uh, potatoes over to the silo and hope that <clears throat> we can store them in our silo. Because um, if not, well, we're either going to be ground dumping them or they can go in that silo right there, that bunker silo, because it's actually set up for... Uh, Oh, uh, shoot, that's right. It's set up for use of leftovers, so it's, it'll convert potatoes into silage. Don't really want to do that. Let's see if this silo will manage potatoes. I think I thought it was multi-fruit, so yeah, good deal. That's a plus. Um... Potatoes aren't accepted here. What is happening to me? It took potatoes. It took 1,837 liters of it. So explain that. What do you mean potatoes aren't accepted here? You took potatoes. You've stolen almost 2,000 liters of potatoes and now you're telling me they're not accepted. That's not fair. Can we dump out the back? We can. Oh, that's not... What, what's it doing? That doesn't even make any sense. Is this silo full? It can't be a full silo. Oh, man, I wonder. I forgot we've got 120, almost 121,000 liters of silage in here. Could the silo be full? Is that possible? Well, this is a predicament. An unwanted predicament. Um, and I'm pretty sure this silage bunker right here, if I dump 
the potatoes in there. It's going to do a use of leftovers. It's going to try and convert it to silage, which really we might get more money for. Um, oh, we're going to have to dump our potatoes on the ground or just sell them. We're going to, we're going to have to sell them. We're stinking going to have to sell them. I'm not going to dump them on the ground. Then I got to pick them all up again. That does not sound like a fun time to me. Potatoes, where do you... Uh, $374 is the general high price. Oh, we're going to lose so much money on this. $257. All right, let's do this. It's all right. It's all right. Things happen. Unplanned. That's what farming is. That's what we're going to... That's why I have my adult water beverage with me and my uh, my stogies. I'm going to grab a stogie because right now I'm feeling... Whoa, Brad. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. At least our... <laughs> at least our uh, mulcher is uh, continuing to work. So that's good. Note to self, we need to use round corners. Let's sell this lot. I haven't, I have a thought about this. It's probably not a good thought. I think we need to sell it over here. I don't know where else we can store them. There's really not any place else we can store them. We could, we'd have to buy another silo and we just don't have the money to do all that. Are you gonna, are you not gonna sell? We're, what's going on? Where else? Where else do you, where do you sell them back here? Oh, I don't care if you jackknife on me. Oh, I know, I know, I see, I see, I see. Old school, baby, old school. Here we go. There we go, sugar beets and potatoes sold over here. That better be, I'm gonna lose my mind. So, stogie time. Next time I think I'm gonna dump from the side. I think it's faster than this grain door business. Um, I got a thought. I can't, I, I don't understand. Unless our silo is full. Which, I'm having my doubts. I know, you're, I know, I know, you're full too. So is our harvester over here. We need to take care of him too. You know, first come, first serve. Let's, out of curiosity here, is this silo in here that we're using in this game? Is that the silo? Where's our silo? Brad, you're all discombobulated. I'm all discombobulated now. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. There we go. No, that is definitely not the silo we're using in this game. Ah, you're the silo. Oh, look at that. It's stinking full. Of freaking course it is. Okay. So now we got to make an executive decision. Do we add a second one? We either have to add a second one or we're going to have to tear down the one that we have and replace it. And we don't want to do that with all of our crops in there and our silage in there. We definitely do not want to do that with all that stuff in there. $11,000 for this thing holds 2 million. And it's multi fruit. That would take care of all of our problems right there. Oh boy. 11 grand. Do we take a loan out and just be done with it? I think we're going to have to. I think we should. I think we can take a loan out, buy this big mamba jamba, put it 
some place where we will just leave it. And once this, our original one is empty, we can either sell that or just keep it. Doesn't really matter to me if I'm being honest. Oh, boy. Because I don't think it's worth buying a second one of these for another 150,000 liters. We're going to fill that up, too, the way our farm's growing. Family farm is just growing, people. How much money do we have? 441? And we owe 30? Oh, boy. I shouldn't have bought that Ford. <laughs> All right. So we're going to... We're going to owe 50,000. It's more than we need, but that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I know. I know. You don't have to tell me. I know. My mom always told me I wasn't good with managing money. What is this gizmo? Multi-fruit silo, two million. That's quite American looking. That's the same price. And it's a single jobber. That might be okay. Might like that more. Boy, we need to move. I was not expecting any of this, by the way. When I started this episode, the worst thing I thought that might happen is our silo just flat out wouldn't take potatoes, but I was pretty confident it would because it's a multi fruit. Manure heap. Yeah, I got some manure for you right now. I'm dealing with some manure. I don't want to da, 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 something like that deal. I don't know. It looks a little tallish to me. Those look like they are a little more fitting. I think we're going to do that. And we're going to put it a little bit of space there so we're not jamming up ourselves. And I will fix. <laughs> yeah, I'll fix this gizmo here to make it look a little better. Ay, yay, 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 yay. Who would have thunk, right? Oh, you're about done, so I guess I can get you started on our other field. Honestly, not expecting any of that, but I should have probably... I should have looked at the how much that silo uh, actually did hold. I didn't even really give it a second thought. I thought at the very least it would hold like 250 or half a mil, but um, clearly I was sadly mistaken. Ford, are you are you upset with me? Oh, because you're dragging. Yeah, it doesn't like to drag it like that. Okay. Those wheels are down on the ground. No wonder it doesn't like to be dragged. You like being dragged better if you're... <laughs> no, you definitely don't like that. Um, okay. Whatever there. So let's create a job for this one. We can do an extra... We'll do three headlands because of the trees down on the one end. We're going to do smooth again because it. we've proven it does not like... Uh, it definitely does not like square corners. It shouldn't... I don't want to fold it, because I think if I fold it... Oh, 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 oh! Oh, it did not like that at all. Oh, it did not like that at all. Oh, I shouldn't have used my mouse for that. That was a bad move. I guess you can um, steer it with your mouse a little bit, evidently but not when it's connected and standing still. That's not a smart thing to do. Can I? <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Connect, man. I don't want you to connect. Are you, are you, are, do I need to get back on it and fold it up or what the heck is it doing? 
It's not my day. I thought I saw a connecty. All right, all right. We'll connect it again down yonder here in the end. And then unfold it again. Oh, that's weird. Huh. I'm not entirely sure. Course play must have kind of had it. I don't know. I'm confused. Those wheels are up now the way they should be. I wonder if course play tried to fold it when it was done and left it in kind of a well, of course, play folded it. Kinda, I guess. Alright, let's whip around here. Let's get it lined up for to kick this thing off. And first waypoint. Go. Please just work for me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, we have an unexpected new dealio on the farm, I guess. I am here to unload the Yeah, I'm a little I'm a little surprised. That, well, I, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that our silo doesn't hold that much. It's kind of, they're kind of smallish. You can go if you want. I'm not in your way. Well, maybe, maybe you think I am. All right. Giddy up. Get out of Dodge. Whoa, where, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? Um, okay. So we've got wheat now here. I should have unloaded the potatoes that were in there. Well, we're almost full regardless, so let's get this thing done. Do I need to switch you to the left side, Mr. Unloader? And our first crops going into our new silo. lovely is that I'm going to grab the taters out of this one the few that are in here so that they're all in the same silo so I don't have like boy that what what two liters of hay <laughs> all right potatoes I'd rather have, because I'll probably forget that we have potatoes in that silo. Let's get the potatoes unloaded here. Stinking potatoes. It's all their fault. Unload. I'm hitting unload. No, I was not hitting unload. And we've got sugar beets. I forgot about those, too. Oh, boy. Yeah, we were going to need a silo regardless. All right, let's go unload our buddy over here. Oh, tree. And let's see if... I'm not really sure how much money this hired helper is costing us. I might end up... Am I close enough? Not really. Are you off or am I just not close enough? I bet I'm not close enough. Let's try lining that up again and see if, if it's me or, or if I need to get out and turn that thing on. I've got a way of turning on potato harvesters. 
There we go. Wow. Well, lessons learned. Things figured out. We weren't stumped. We did have to spend money that we don't have. We've got uh, a much higher bank balance than I um, would have preferred. But I am fingers crossed hoping that we can get some really good money from all that silage that's taking up all that space in our silo. I'm also desperately hoping that this potato slash sugar beet harvest ends up being somewhat profitable for us. All right, you go. I'm going to go on load you again. And thus the uh, rinse and repeat, I guess, kind of begins here. I'm watching our money tick down from our hired helper, but there's not much we can do about that. I might uh, give it some thought as to reimbursement or maybe just not paying the, maybe call it a wash and not pay our other hired helpers that are doing the course play stuff. I don't know. Really didn't think we'd get too rich on this map, all things considered. I kind of was just more interested in just experiencing the map and <clears throat> getting as much land <clears throat> as we could. Are you full already? Are you really full already? Yep, this is my life. I am a, what do they call them? Um, cart runners? That is pretty much my existence. I'm going to be running this cart back and forth. No, I kind of would rather have you stop. Maybe that's, I think I can set that up in course play. I'd rather just empty and stop this thing, but oh well. <laughs> oh man. I'll follow you to the end of this row and then you're on your own, buddy. Well, I guess the good news overall is we are definitely full swing into this harvest. We've got a lot more harvesting to do. We're going to have a lot of stuff to sell towards the end of the year. And that's not too far away. I really hope we can pay off. Really hope we can pay off our bank loan and make some decent cash. I'm going to put what little what is left of available space of the wheat. That didn't take a whole lot more. And we're going to move ahead to here. And I'll tell you what, that's going to do it for this episode of Old Family Farm. Lucky you. You get to go on and watch some more YouTube or have dinner or, well, it's morning, so maybe you're going to go have breakfast or something, coffee. Me? No. I get to be a cart runner for potatoes and wheat. Woohoo! Actually, it's not so bad. It's part of the game that I, I don't mind, and I actually love this game, so I could it could be a lot worse. But thanks, everyone, for watching. I really do appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the chaos a little bit. Um, it definitely was a busy episode. We hardly even talked about my sister this episode. Trust me, things have happened, but I'll get you caught up on that next time maybe. And uh, you all take care of yourselves and take care of each other, and I really do appreciate you checking in with me. I'll see you back in Hinterland tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.